This weekend, many coastal areas experiencing record breaking tide levels over the past several days thanks to what's called the King Tide. It was crazy. Yeah, this year's tide was made worse by an area of low pressure off the coast, still causing flooding today. WAY's meteorologist Matthew Huddleston has more. The Cape Fear experiences King Tides every year when the moon is closest to the earth, causing an increase in tide levels. But the Wilmington National Weather Service says this year's king tide was elevated thanks to the right ingredients coming together. At the same time as we had these king tides, we had this non-tropical low form right off our coast. We had above average astronomical tides along with a strong low offshore that pushed water towards the coast. Saturday morning, Wrightsville Beach recorded its highest tide on record not caused by a tropical system. Victoria Oliva with the National Weather Service says although flooding was bad, it could have been a lot worse. We actually were expecting a little bit higher on Sunday morning, so we're very grateful that it didn't get into the moderate flooding that we were originally expecting. I think the low was a little slightly more offshore. The tidal flooding blocked off many roadways for hours at a time, leading to some damage in a few locations. We heard about some vehicle damage in Carolina Beach due to coastal flooding. Someone in Riceville Beach told us that it's the worst he'd seen in about 35 years. Oliva says conditions will gradually improve as the area of low pressure moves further away, but we could still see effects for a few more days. Tides this morning were slightly lower than yesterday, uh, and then tomorrow morning you might see one final round of minor flooding, but I believe by Wednesday we should be good. In Carolina Beach, Matthew Huddleston, WWAY News. Many scientists believe events like this weekend's could begin to happen more often as climate change leads to rising sea levels.